Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for the first half of your March from the 1st to 15th. This is going to be air for Aries. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Um, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, uh, Aries people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Aries. Tell me about Aries in love and the person that they are connecting with. What's going on with Aries in love and the person that they are connecting with for... Um, for uh, the first half of their March, from the 1st to 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aries. Tell me about Aries here with the Eight of Pentacles here. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Aries, I'm not going to lie. You guys are really focusing on your work, really focusing on your pentacles at this time here. So when it comes to love, some of you guys might not even be looking for it at this time, which there is nothing wrong with that, okay? It's good to focus on yourself. It's good not to chase love and let love find you, all right? So I feel like with the two of wands here, I feel like you guys definitely have some decisions to make here. And this is regarding like your calling in life. You know, I feel like you guys are just focusing on, you know, giving back to others, being a service to others. Perhaps you guys are focusing on your healing at this time here too. All right, the star card, Aquarius energy. We have the five of wands here and the uh, nine of swords. So what we have is I feel like some of you guys might deal with some sort of social anxiety here. I feel like some of you guys have a hard time being around large groups of people here. Okay, so when it comes to meeting people, um, you know, it's not really your forte here. I do feel like you guys tend to keep to yourself a lot, uh, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm an Aries too. I tend to keep to myself a lot. I like, I like you know, doing uh, stuff by myself, being alone. So I do feel like there's nothing wrong with that, but you know, I do feel like if you do keep to yourself a lot, and not put yourself out there, it'll be quite difficult to find love. Not that it's impossible, but you know, a lot of times, you know, um, when you seek, uh, when you want love, you know, it kind of tends to happen when you least expect it, right? The Eight of Pentacles here and the Nine of Wands. Tell me the Ten, uh, Nine of Pentacles here and the Justice card. So right now, in this very moment, I feel like you guys are definitely working on healing your traumas here and pain uh, that you dealt with in the past here. You know, so I feel like with the, uh, with the uh, uh, Justice card, I feel like right now you, you're in this energy of just balancing out your, the, the, uh, the karmic scales here for yourself. We have the Three of Swords and the Two of Wands here. We have the Star card here and the Four of Cups. So what we have here is that I do feel like maybe recently someone here broke your heart. You know, someone here got bored, chose another option here, and broke your heart. And now you're focusing on just yourself and focusing on your healing here. The Five of Wands here, and the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Swords here, and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are kind of like clear about the goals that you have in mind when it comes to your work and your finances here. And I just feel like you guys are just really focused on your work at this time with the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. Um, I don't feel like you're dealing with anybody right now, but let's just see. Tell me about Aries here, the person that Aries is dealing with. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Aries? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Aries for um, the first half of their march? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. With the King of Pentacles, Two of Swords, the World. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the King of Cups. Aries, not gonna lie here, you guys are doing fine on your own. So I do feel like there's a tough karmic cycle, cycle that closed out here for you guys. And I do feel like with the Wheel of Fortune here, things are really turning in your favor, okay? So I feel like you guys are definitely investing time and money or just time within yourself right now, okay? You guys are just doing you, 
all right? So that is perfectly okay here. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Two of Swords, The World, The Wheel of Fortune, The King of Cups, The Seven of Pentacles here. Yeah, you guys are doing perfectly fine on your own with the High Priestess here. I feel like, you know, you guys are definitely in this energy of wising up here, really trusting your higher self here, trusting your intuition. I do feel like there's a lot of forward movement that's happening in your life. Some of you guys could be physically moving to a different home or a new home here, okay? So, um, you know, this home that you're moving to, perhaps it's a different town, different city, different state, different country here, okay? So lots of changes are happening here for you guys at this time, and I feel like it's positive changes here. I really feel like you're not dealing with anyone. Five of Swords, you're putting yourself first at this time. Uh, Knight of Wands here, I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely enjoying your freedom. Uh, just focusing on chasing your goals and your passions here, okay? So it seems like you're just doing you. We have the Seven of Pentacles here and the Ace of Pentacles here. So what we have here is I feel like you guys are definitely in this energy of focusing on your wealth at this time here. You know, with the Ace of Pentacles, some of you guys could be just focusing on your business here. If you have a business, you guys are trying to expand your business here at this time. So a lot of great things are happening for you, Aries, okay? What else do we have here for Aries? What else does Aries need to know? Look out for work on. For the first half of their March, from the 1st to the 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aries. <clears throat> We have the Empress, Libra, Taurus here. Okay. We have the Ten of Cups. Oh, wow. Aries, I feel like some of you guys have been, you know, single for a very long time. And you guys maybe have finally got out of um, a painful situation that you guys went through. Like, you guys moved that energy. You guys healed it. And they do feel like someone here is about to make you very, very, very happy here. Yeah, interesting. We have the Three of Cups here and the Six of Cups. So... Let's focus on the new here. I do feel like whoever this is, I do feel like this person is going to ask you out. I do feel like you're going to have an instant connection with this person because I do feel like it's a past life soulmate connection here, okay? And this empress here is someone here who's very abundant. This is an energy of someone here who is hubby, wifey material. This is an individual that's really attractive here. I feel like this person has a crush on you. This person has a crush on you here. So I do feel like there is someone new coming into your life, Aries. Like I said, sometimes when you focus on yourself, when you do the things that you need to do, love will come to you unexpectedly. Love will find you. You don't have to go chasing after it. It will find you. So we have the Empress, Libra, Taurus, Ten of Cups, Three of Cups, Six of Cups, Strength card, Leo Energy, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The Empress here and the Hangman, Piscean Energy. Tell me about the, uh, the uh, Ten of Cups here and the Queen of Cups. There has been someone here that's been watching you. Whoever this is, I feel like this person definitely has deep feelings here for you. You know, I feel like someone here has feelings for you where I feel like this person's going to surprise you because I feel like you're not going to expect it because I feel like with the Three of Cups here, this person is a friend. Yeah, this person is a friend here. We have the Six of Pentacles here and the Three of Cups, the Six of Cups, the six of Cups here, and the Lovers. So, like I said, when you least expect it, your soulmate is coming into your life, and I feel like you're going to be surprised who it is, because I do feel like you do know this person. This is someone who's a friend. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. This is someone that you feel very safe around. This is someone where I feel like your guides and your angels and your ancestors are kind of, like, bringing this together for you guys here. And the chariot, Cancer energy here. Interesting. I feel like this person is deciding to be with you or deciding to, yeah, to choose you. Ace of Cups here, new love. I mean, I feel like you already care about this person here because like I said, this person is, is a friend. Yeah, and this person's catching feelings for you. So Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.